Nerdy Dude Stuff. What's going on guys? I'm Oprius and welcome to a mining video on how to GPU mine with an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, I have gone through and I've picked two uh, coins that are very, very easy in difficulty. They are excellent coins to start learning the mining process, especially if you have um, a lower end system, not necessarily a lower end graphics card, but one or two graphics cards, because um, you're really not going to be able to mine the big bad coins that everyone talks about, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, because they take so much hashing power and their difficulty levels are so high. Uh, but the two coins I have picked out today have very low difficulty levels. One coin is what got me into mining, um, but it really doesn't go anywhere. It's just a fun learning experience. It's not a coin you really want to mine to make any profit on. It's just, like I said, a good learning experience. The second coin um, will have some great things in its future. It's easy to mine right now, and in my opinion, it, I'm, I'm collecting it, and it's going to take off, and we'll go over the coins and how to mine it. So, how to GPU mine two easy coins, uh, things you will need. One, you'll need decent gaming GPUs or graphics cards. Uh, me, personally, I have two GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4GB Superclock WindForce editions, and I have one EVGA GTX 750 Ti 2GB um, <clears throat> graphics card. Now, my GTX 1050 Ti 4GB can technically mine Ethereum, and they get about... Uh, this might be a new term for you if you're learning how to mine, but 14 to 15, depending on their overclock, um, mega hashes on Ethereum, which roughly translate to about $1.50 to $2 a day. Um, but the GTX 750 Ti isn't compatible to mine Ethereum anymore because you need a coin that's um, 3 gigabytes, or you need a graphic card 3 gigabytes or more. Um, you will need a miner compatible with NVIDIA or AMD GPUs. I use CC Miner for my NVIDIA GPUs. Um, link for that will be in the description. You also need a mining pool. Links are in the description. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the mining pools that I use for the two coins and how to set them up and get mining uh, immediately. And then lastly, you just need internet and a love for crypto coin. Okay, so let's get started with the first coin. So this is the tiniest, dinkiest coin ever. Um, it's called Digibyte. It's very simple to mine. Here's a seven-day track of it. It usually hangs out at the one cent mark, just under or just above. Um, you can see the Satoshi level here. This is a great introductory coin. When I was learning how to mine, especially setting up a mining rig with three GPUs, I was able to get uh, like 40 to 100 coins a day um, just based on you know, how well the block was doing. Now, let me jump right into this. The link for this description below is the mining pool you see here. Um, you will need to sign up. It is free to sign up. One thing you want to know, you want to learn about with mining is that they're all free to sign up, but when you mine, they might have transa like transaction fees uh, taking out of the mining results and taking some of the coin you're holding. Okay? Uh, you can actually see here I've already signed up. I do have an account. So when you go to this link, you just sign up and you're going to come to, after you're done, you're going to come to this page that looks like this, right? <clears throat> you can see here I have a, six coins hanging out that I haven't been paid out on. Uh, so the first thing you want to do after you sign up is you want to always go to getting started. And under getting started, you're going to have the miners that you can utilize. Uh, again, uh, since if you have AMD, you want SG miner, or if you have an NVIDIA, you want CC miner. Uh, this is the one I use. You're going to click on that. It's going to download to your computer as a zip file. You're going to go to your downloads and you're going to extract it onto your, uh, let me show my other desktop here. Uh, this is my actual mine that I'm remoting into and it's going to come in a folder that looks like this. Okay, so after it's extracted I have Windows 64 so I use the 64-bit uh, CC miner. We'll come back to this screen here in a moment. Next, after you download the miner, you want to go back to the mining pool and you want to go to my account and you want to create a worker this is going to go in your bat file or your scripting that you are going to build which I will show you here momentarily so it's very simple you just do um, a username a password you know I have two miners I have my office miner and my laptop and then I always leave the password as X so you'll put that in there so let's say we did office and X after you save your worker now what you need to do is you need to go back to 
you need to go back to your miner. You're going to go into your folder. I'm going to go into my folder down here. It's already open. And you're going to want to create a new um, you're going to want to create a new note. So you just do new and then you want to do a new text document. I'm not going to create a new one, but I'm going to pull up the one that I have prepared. So now inside the inside the miner in your text document, you're going to want to, let's go back here, you're going to want to see if it has getting started. Okay, so now that you're inside your text document, you're going to want to copy and paste this information here. Okay, so this is showing that you're using CC Miner, the algorithm that you're using, the mining pool, the mining pool code, and then you want to change right here the username to the username that you created, which would be what you logged in with, the worker name that you created, and the password that you created. So let's take a look at what my script looks like. Can I open this even more? Okay, so I've copy and pasted the CC miner, all this information, and then as we scroll over, you see that I put my username, or it says username, I did my worker where I put worker, and my password is X. After you've done all that, you're going to want to click File, it's running slow right now because I'm remoting into the miner. You're going to want to save as, and then you're going to want to save this as, let's say since I'm mining Digibyte, I name it Digibyte, so it's Digibyte.bat, and then it hit save. I'm going to hit cancel since I already have it saved. Now with all that said and done, once you've completed that, you're just going to go ahead and double click on the Digibyte bat file that you just created and you'll see it start to mine. And you'll see that pull up here. And there it goes. And everything looks good. It's detected my graphics cards and it's going to start mining here in a couple of minutes. All right, so we see that the mining has been successful. We didn't receive any errors, and once it, you know it's successful, you'll start seeing yes. A green means you're doing good. You're processing algorithms. Um, if you see any letters in red, like boo or anything like that, that means that the block was declined, and you unfortunately wouldn't get paid off on it. So this is uh, great signs here. You are officially mining. Now you can go ahead and stop at any time. I'm going to stop it now and we are going to jump into the other coin where this one will probably be better this will definitely be better in the long term um, much better than digibyte that's not going anywhere so without further ado let's show you how to mine and where to get started with gold coin we're gonna pull up gold coins chart here I do have a nice large handful that I have been collecting I started mining this coin around 11 cents and as of today uh, it did spike up to 17 cents and it's up to 16 cents so technically I think I've mined about a hundred coins already um, and it's just jumped up a penny or two pennies so I've made a dollar or two more just from mining it so I'm feeling pretty good so let's get started with mining this coin the first thing you're gonna want to do is click the description the link in the description below and I will have them spaced out one says digibyte one says gold coin Gold coin is going to be hashtocoins.com, and just like before, you're going to want to sign up. After you sign up, you're going to be on this main screen here, and everything looks very familiar. You need to register, you need to add a worker, and then you want to set up your miner on the pool with your bat file, which this one took me a while to do, um, so I can absolutely help you set this bat file up, or you can just copy and paste mine, uh, and then after that, you can get going on working. So you just want to go to my account. You want to go to workers, and just like before, you have your username that you created on the site, you have your worker, and you have your password. Now, this is the information that you want to save for your script. Okay? Where you're going to get that information for your script is going to be on the home page, and you see here, here's the script. Okay? So let's go ahead and go back to my miner, and I'm going to pull up 
gold coin bat file. So once again, you're going to go into your miner, you're going to create a text document, and when that text document is created, this is what you're going to have right here, your script. Let's give my computer a second. Let's go ahead and uh, see if I can get enlarge this a bit so you can see more of the script. All right, so you copy and pasted the CC miner. This looks familiar from Digibyte, right? So for gold coin, CC miner, algo equals script, and then you're going to want to put in the mining pool, which is hash to coins with the port number, and then for user ID, it's the user ID of your hash to coins gold coin account, your worker name, which I've just named mine twice, and then your password. Very simple. This was probably the hardest thing about mining for me. Um, I have no problem helping you guys do this. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Let's go back into my miner. Let's pull up the bat file. after you, Again, after you complete your gold coin text document, you want to make sure you save it as .bat. Okay, so I have my gold coin text document, and then I have my bat file, which is what actually mines. So you go ahead and double click the bat file, and you can see just like that, we are now mining gold coin. Uh, this one's going to be a little quicker because I have stronger hashing on this and I see very good returns and I've been mining this coin for the past about two to three weeks um, and I'm very happy with it. So it does take about two minutes to tune up everything. Not really two minutes, it's pretty quick. But it does want to tune up, it, want it wants to make sure your GPUs are good to go. Um, it wants to make sure the performance is ready. And we could play around with overclocking later on. I'm not gonna do that in this video because this is very, very, very simple. Um, while this is going, just follow the links in the descriptions below. Um, test yourself on Digibyte, and if you want to actually collect a coin that's going to have some sustenance and some value in the next few in the next few months or so, uh, I would jump on Goldcoin because the more people that jump onto the coin when it's already being successful, the harder it is to dif to to mine. The difficulty is going to go up. That's why the big dogs like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and Monero, and all those are harder to mine with less returns because more people are mining them. Whereas a coin like Goldcoin, it's it's a hidden gem. It's a diamond in the rough. Look at, I mean, look how much faster this is all firing off everything. This is all great signs. I am successfully mining Goldcoin. Um, so with that said, guys, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Uh, please thumbs up on the video. Uh, please subscribe. If you have any other coins you want me to look into mining, uh, shoot me a message. I can also help you with your bat files, with your scripting. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.